I'd come to the beautiful Adriatic seaside town of Portoroz in Slovenia to experience what I hoped would be a thrilling ride. This is the revolutionary hydrofoil speedboat called the W Foil Albatross. Hi guys, you must be Thomas. Yes, uh, nice to meet you. Wow. What are we looking at here, Thomas? Uh, it's a motor hydrofoil boat. Uh -huh. The speed will, will go up to 30 knots. Okay. Uh, today we'll try to 20, let's okay. say. Uh, but the, the whole uh, concept and the hydrodynamics can go uh, more than 60 knots. Wow, that's, that's quite impressive. It's certainly a striking design with its wood, metal, nose-mounted engine and forward-facing propeller. The Albatross looks more like a biplane without wings than a boat. But before I could drive it, I needed training. And for that, I was put in the capable hands of Marin. The red button here is to ignite the engine. Mm -hmm. This is the main control. It's a uh, speed control. Okay. And then you will see the foils coming out of the water uh -huh. and the boat will lift up and then we'll go just straight. First, I was taken out in the front passenger seat to get a feel for how the W foil handles. Okay, so it's getting a little bit more speed up. Now the nose is pitching up and the hydrofoils are a little bit further out. This prototype has a top speed of 30 knots, but the makers hope that further research and development will enable future models to sell at up to 60 knots. One of the big advantages of a hydrofoil is that at speed you ride above the waves, so you don't get the buffeting normally associated with speedboats. When we went out on the water, we didn't really go that quick. The hydrofoil is capable of about 30 knots. We only went about 15 to 17 knots because the water's pretty choppy. It's not really thrilling. I do feel a little bit like driving Miss Daisy in this. Everything soon changed when I took the rear driving seat. When you're ready. So he said whenever I'm ready, so here goes. Steering with my feet, I felt really connected to the craft. It is amazing! The throttle was very responsive and from the back seat, it felt much quicker. The speed accumulates so quickly, there's a lot of wind resistance. I'm wrestling a lot with the steering. Driving it was a lot more of a fun experience. You have a lot more to wrestle with in terms of the steering, the elements. It's a lot more exciting. <laughs> I can imagine at 60 knots this thing will be quite a monster. I had to grapple with controlling this steering with the rudder and the pitch with the throttle. The faster you go, the more the albatross rises. The aim is to reach a stage where the craft is balanced, effortlessly gliding across the water. However, the swell, the wind and my inexperience made it a challenge to keep the albatross flying. There were a few occasions while I was driving the hydrofoil where Marin in front of me got absolutely drenched. <laughs> Poor Marin, bless him. I've literally nose dived about three times. Luckily enough, it's like being on a log flume. The ones at the back don't get as wet, the ones at the front get drenched. <laughs> but it all added to the fun. And the more I drove it, the more I liked it. It is a really nice thing to actually drive though. I feel quite elegant out on the water in a very beautiful wooden hull. Being out on the sea, which isn't something I love doing, but in the hydrofoil was a lot of fun. I search for the best way to stay logged on when you're away from your desktop. I use one... It had obviously all gone wrong. I'd killed my PC. That's the Vista. <laughs> 